Hey y'all, today we're going to show you how to make this cheap all-in-one FPV solution that's mobile using a 4.3 inch LCD monitor we picked up off of eBay, a 2S 7.4 volt battery, and an Esheen ER32 video receiver. This is Josh and welcome to Southern Nerds. Alright, so before we get started with a build, I just want to talk about a few things that come with these items. Um, so the 4.3 monitor is just a like a $10 monitor we picked up off of eBay. It does have the audio video out cables. It comes with a nice sticker pad um, that you can use to mount to your dashboard or whatever you want to the bottom of the stand. It comes with a 12 volt power source cable and also a nice little manual with wiring diagrams if you need them. And then the ER32, we did do a video re review and unboxing of this, so you can check that out if you want more details. Um, one nice thing about it, um, it does come with this audio video hookup, which is a 2.5 millimeter to audio video cable. And that would be um, an easy solution that you could just plug in to your ER32 receiver and then go straight out to your monitor if you don't want to take on any soldering in this project. Um, one thing I will note, if you see here, the connectors on the video receiver are all female, and then the connectors on the monitor are female as well. So if you wanted to do that without soldering, you probably want to pick up another cable from banggood.com, which is a 2.5 millimeter to a male audio video receiver cable. Um, that'll solve your problem and will allow you to hook directly into this. Then you can just add a power source and not have to do any soldering like we're going to be doing today. So to get started with this project, we're going to take this monitor apart. Um, it just has a couple of screws in the back. It's got four in the, you know, one in each corner. It also has this stand. Um, so we're going to take all that off and open up the back of this thing and see if we can uh, see what all's in there. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back with you. All right, so now we have this thing taken apart. Um, you'll see the circuit board in here and the LCD display board. Um, these are just buttons built into the back of the monitor. I'm assuming that's maybe some volume buttons or channel buttons or something of that nature. So we can go ahead and take that off. I'll just get that out of the way. So here it is. Um, you have your audio video and your power source coming into the circuit board here. Um, so that's where we're actually going to do a little soldering and see if we can get this uh, receiver built into this thing. Alright, so one of the first things I want to do is go ahead and cut this cable so that we can remove the back panel from the LCD monitor. So I'm just going to cut this right past the zip tie they have on here. And that's just so I can uh, go ahead and take out take out the audio video cables get those out of the way and that'll leave me with just the LCD monitor and our solder points here alright so now that we've removed the audio video cable the next thing we're going to do is take this this cable that came with our receiver and we're actually going to remove all of these wires all we're going to need is the yellow video wire and the black and red power wires. So we're going to remove these wires out and we'll be right back with you. All right, and just for reference, um, what I did is take a sharp point, such as a knife or a razor blade, and you're going to push down the little metal tabs here on these wires um, just along the connector. You're going to push them down so you should only see the three the yellow, black, and red wire. You should only see the metal tips there. The rest of these are just going to pull out of there. That. Another one's out. Take these last two out. So that all you are going to have are the three main wires again, the video wire and the power wires. So now that we have this wire prepped, you'll need one last wire, and that's going to be your female end JST connector. Um, we're actually going to take these and join our video receiver wires together 
and then we're going to solder them onto the board here. Um, before I do that, I'm going to have to desolder these wires. You can actually see um, from the company that sent it to me, they actually burnt the white video wire a little bit. Um, but I'm just going to desolder these four wires so that I can hook my two new wires up to them, and then I'll be right back with you. All right, so now that I've desoldered these four wires, um, you will see that they are labeled on the board there as the positive, the ground, and the two audio video connectors. You'll want to either take note or remember how those were wired so that when you go to wire your video receiver and your battery connector in, you're, you want to make sure you connect those back to the same ports that you took them off of. Uh, so what we're going to do is go ahead, run these wires through the back of our monitor and then solder these together and then we're going to solder them back to the board the way we took those off and I'll be right back with you. Alright so there we have it. I have soldered my new um, JST and audio video connector. Ran it through the case. I put some heat shrink on there just to help protect those wires some. Um, you, you don't have to do that but you can if you want to. Um, so now really all we have to do is plug this plug these buttons back in and we're ready to piece this thing back together so let's go ahead and um, close this thing back up put the screws in it and um, I'll be right back with you alright so here we go I got the back of the monitor back on and as you can see I've got the receiver mounted to the back of this monitor with just double sided tape and the wiring running out into it um, and then the battery connector JST battery connectors there I just put some velcro on here and I'm going to actually mount it to the stand of this monitor so let's go ahead and hook that there um, so it's a pretty small unit um, you may run your antenna like that um, I'm probably going to put a polarized antenna on here like a leaf mushroom antenna but let's hook it up and see what we've got I've got it I've got my drone powered on and so there we go um, let me just set this here and I'll go over and move my drone so you can see I've got uh, my 250 racing drone in front of my little mini drone we just built the mini skull drone we just built so there we go looks like everything's up and working and again it's in a small little package that's going to be very mobile I'm actually thinking about maybe setting this up on a tripod or like a tabletop mount so I can take with me when I go fly and set it up and have a mobile solution uh, ready to go so that if any of my friends go they will be able to tap in and see the video feed so anyways let us know if you like what we're doing um, Hopefully you can take on one of these projects yourself, and please hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.